What's up everybody? This is Brubanade. What? And we're back here with some European War 5. Gonna be throwing down some Industrial Age Conquest. Russia won out by a landslide, so that's what I'm throwing down here. Hell yeah, surrender bitches. I got the Russian Empire coming at ya. Anyways, this will be like the first conquest. I'm gonna lump like I said, I had mentioned this, doing this, lump three generals together. Because I don't think two by themselves is going to be enough. Anyways, this will be the first time since I first started playing this game. That my generals are actually... Um, ten levels below the age that I'm playing in. So, we're going to have to be pretty careful here. It takes 2,000 medals to level them up to industrial age. And um, I didn't have that. I didn't have no medals. I couldn't even level one of them up. So all of them are 10 levels below what they should be for this. So it might be interesting. It's probably going to take a while to beat this conquest. I got my A team here though. This will give us a good good taste of what's going to be happening maybe. Let's check out. Yeah, they they took some damage. It could have been worse, but um I ain't going to get very many attacks off if that's how much damage they're going to take each time they face a general. Let's see how my B team goes here. Check them out. Ah, uh, they did a little bit better. Although they were attacking a shittier city, no general and less troops. I think my main focus is going to be taking out Europe. I think. I got my B team over there with my generals. I might I might push into China some, but I think my main focus is going to be out here in Europa. All right, that that wasn't that wasn't too bad. I gotta beef up my defenses though for sure. I might take this group and go to Peking and then just chill out there, or I might even chill out in Ulan Bator. Just, you know, just go out, hang out, take a vacation there. There is a risk pushing all the way into Peking, and that's being able to get attacked from three different directions. But it's something I might risk anyways. You know what I've noticed? Like, people are already going at it pretty hard. Usually it takes about five rounds before people start fighting in the other ages. Shit's already going down here. Not too bad. That first battle had me scared. And I may still get my ass kicked. I haven't went up against another general yet again. Oh, I did take some damage there. What is going on? Those were just like a regular troops right there. I don't know 
what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know what to do right in here. Where to send my generals, you know? Take out Denmark? I don't know. Kind of sucks not being able to split your generals into three different groups. Kind of limits what you can do. The thing about Genghis Khan though is he does... He, I don't see anything that like says he does. I can just tell you what I've noticed and he like heals faster than any other general I've seen. And he has a, a good amount of health, so that isn't it. It's like he doesn't heal faster because he has a little bit of health. He has He's up there with the other generals. So I don't know what causes him to heal so fast. Damn, a calm round. Nothing's went down. People are trying to figure out what the the Russian Empire is going to do here. We're going to be kicking some ass. That's what we're going to be doing. Let's try this. This... This will be a good... Test. I'm I, I'm I'm a little bit scared. I must say. Oh, we lost two people. Who did we lose? Hopefully. Oh shit! No, we did not just lose Napoleon. What the fuck? No way. I just had to look again, like, did I leave him behind somewhere? No, the guy is dead. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever lost Napoleon. Ever. Yeah, we're gonna have to take this a little bit more serious. We can't just go on a constant attack. Wow, I can't believe that. That is shocking. With that going rate, I'm not going to have any generals left by like around 20. Oh damn, Canada going at the US. I have noticed France and Germany go at each other almost every single round here. And I cannot believe that shit happened. I'm scared to attack a general now. Anyways, we did take that over. We got some land. It was not worth the loss of Napoleon, but we did we did get some more income from it. Shit is just so expensive out of the industrial age, but I don't want to put down like crap troops. Damn, the US is getting hammered from Japan, China, and Spain. And there's the uh, French Germans going at it again. Yeah, like I'd like to clear out the North Sea and take London, but it's scary now.
I re might be able to. I don't know if I want to attack with my other generals now or not. Damn, U.S. lost. Germany, France, you want to go at it? Oops, Spain wants to still go at the U.S. though. Them. So I think maybe I can go Peking now because now I got two different countries. The likelihood of them all attacking me um, probably not gonna happen. I don't see China attacking me twice and then Japan attacking me too so I might build up here and take out Peking, see what happens. Hopefully I won't lose all my generals. Okay, what do we got going? Um, I don't think China's gonna attack the US this time. Spain will attack the US and we'll have the French and Germans going at it. Yep, there's the French and Germans. Oh! to do this let's we, we got to do something we can't just sit there with our generals I mean I, I have to do some damn holy shit what I can't believe that Genghis Khan almost goes down every all the common troops are down Washington took a beating as well the fight didn't go very well either. Boom! Get it? Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, um... I don't want them to die. Put a treaty on that shit. Run back to Copenhagen. See, I don't want any country to win out too much. Like, I don't want France or Germany to beat the other one. Kind of like how the U.S. and Israel and other um, Gulf countries don't want the Syrian government or ISIS rebels to actually win. They just want them to be balanced and just keep fighting each other. That's what I that's what I think's happening in Syria. Nobody well, I shouldn't say nobody. Syria is like um just a proxy war. Israel, US and their allies don't want anybody winning that. Cuz both their enemies are getting killed off. They don't want either side gaining too much. That's kind of that's what I'm going for here. I don't want Germany kicking France's ass. I don't want France kicking Germany's ass. I don't want Canada whooping up on the U.S. Because I might... If, if one country gets a shit ton of land, I probably won't be able to come back from it. Not with my generals so low. Ten levels lower than they should be. And yeah, I did forget to put up my princesses to get income. I do that a lot, actually. There's 125. I just can't believe how much damage that group of generals have had given to them.
Oh, they're coming at me. If I lose a general, I'm rage quitting. Damn, U.S. going on the offensive. Oh, open themselves up to be attacked. Just about every damn round, the French go after Rome and lose. Alexander's half health. I'm not even sure what to do. Damn, the U.S. is on a roll all of a sudden. Damn it, you know what? I was meaning to take them somewhere so I could get them healed. Then realizing I took them to Berlin, where I already had a princess down. For income. Okay, this is the industrial age. Shouldn't every country's factories and barracks all be maxed out? Why do I have to come in and... Um, Level them up. It's a damn fine question, one I'd like answered by the developers of the game. Damn! Lincoln took back New York. Okay, what do I want to do? Maybe I'll just let them heal naturally without a princess. I could build up another group. Let's make a general, a full general army unit to go take London. Hopefully it works out better than the one time I built that six general unit that went into Mexico and got completely wiped out. I told myself I wouldn't sit there and waste so much time building a, another six generals up. But I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's see if we can't take this. We need to at least take one thing per round. We need increased income pretty bad. Anyways, bros, at round 15 is where I think I'm going to wrap this up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap this shit out of like and subscribe, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati out.